I gotta say, I, I know that that's green screen and fake. Why, don't spoil it for the audience. Well, I, it was? Wow, I thought he was really Des smelly. Despite that, and I thought it was really smelly. I found myself rooting for you to plummet. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just fall. Uh, qu quick reminder of the rules of the mountain. If you are not a listed starting quarterback, you're not even in the fell off the mountain category because it feels mean to put guys like Jordan Love or Tua who got hurt in the fell off the mountain. Sure. And, you know, Bryce has been benched. So if you're – what's You up, have Ru? to be plain to have fallen off the mountain. Correct. Ground. That's what I'm saying. What, what, bro? You know what this is. What? No. What? I know exactly what no, you're what? doing. New rule because – now, Caleb cannot have fallen off the mountain because he's still playing. No, there's four starting quarterbacks. Who, you're confused, bro. I'm I am sorry. confused. I thought no, you no, said no. if you're playing. Let's the go to the bottom of the mountain. Because Caleb, the there's an place. argument that no. he should have fallen okay, off. Okay, well, we'll see. There, we'll saying? see if he did. There's 32 okay. spots. There's so four starting off? quarterbacks who have fallen off the mountain. Okay. Bo Nix, okay. Skylar Thompson, <laughs> Will Levis, and Daniel Jones the other are all <laughs> off the mountain. <laughs> there are 28 quarterbacks. There are okay. 28 I'm spots thinking. on the mountain. The okay. point I was making I is it. It, Tua and Jordan Love are just – they've oh. been helicoptered out to home base <laughs> until they're back healthy again. Okay. okay. Now, to row Not seven bad. of the mountain. You jackals got what you wanted. I mean, Caleb is plummeting. Is it really? left to right? It better not be. It, is, it, it <laughs> right. is not left to right. It not be left Caleb, to right. it's not left to right. It's not right to left. It is just an assortment. <laughs> Caleb has plummeted, and the climb will be historic and grand when he makes it. But you guys demanded that it be purely about what you've done in the NFL. So because of that, <laughs> yeah. no, let's he include has to high be school. at the bottom. <laughs> It's next to Jaden Daniels, Jacoby Brissett, Gardner Minshew. I'll be honest, I don't want Deshaun Watson or Andy Dalton on my mountain, but there's, you can't put the other guys on it. And I'll be honest about this. I told the entire world, take out a second mortgage to bet against Malik Willis, and he really stuck it to me this weekend, so he gets a mountain spot. I'm as shocked as anybody, Malik. but Malik stuck it to me, and gamblers everywhere, so he gets on the mountain. Row six. This one's... This one's pretty obvious as far as who fell and who rose. Brock Purdy's got to fall. He had two terrible turnovers, could have had a third. Mm. Jalen Hurts, I, I thought, played really well and then made a terrible decision at the end, so he maintains. The mountain is fair, and sadly, it's been, you know, it's not snowing so much in the mountain as it is raining, which is, explains the Prince's fall. Sam Darnold and Justin Fields must move up. They have both played very well, and their teams are winning. And Anthony Richardson has to slip a bit. I, I Listen, I love watching the guy play, but at this point, we need a little bit more consistency. So row six, there's a lot of, I mean, a lot of talent on that row, a lot of high draft picks. Yeah. That's row six. Now to the top 15 guys. Row five, all risers except for one. Kyler Murray playing the best ball he's played in oh, yeah. years. Derek Carr playing the best ball he's played in his life, kind of. We'll more on that later. Kirk Cousins, I think you saw while Wilds, I think, was ready to say he needs to retire. Okay. Kirk, uh, after week one, Brew, back me up, Brew. Yeah, Wilds yeah. had written off the Falcons. Oh, he had written off Kirk. He did have 170 the, the, yards the, before a before bone what, headed play by Nick 170 yards before the game-winning two-minute drive? <laughs> yeah, which kind of had looked like, okay, to go. but he did have the he opportunity. Was dead to Hold on, Wilds, you know what, Wilds? He, he, he Brew, and I, section of Brew and I don't play fantasy football. We play real football. Okay. And in real football, he drove the team right down the field in a minute. Uh, he moved up and in that two minute drive looked good. Aaron Rodgers, I thought, played better in week two than week one, so he moves up. My biggest conflict on the mountain, Brew, I'll be honest, was Jared Goff. Because I didn't think he played, he, the level that he played to me deserved to move him down, but I couldn't put Darnold or Fields up. It didn't, none of that felt right. So Goff is hanging onto that mm. row by a thread. Row four. Dak's bad picks make him drop. I don't really blame Stafford for the game this weekend. He's down so many guys, but he has to drop a bit. He wasn't great. Justin Herbert didn't really do much of anything, but didn't have to do much yep. of anything, which is kind of the dream for them right now with the Chargers, the opposite of what it's been. And Geno Bleeping Smith, I just, we are now in his third year as a starter for Seattle. They are 19 and 15 in his starts. He completes 68% of his passes. He throws for 250 yards per game. He has a 97 rating and 
a 52 to 21 touchdown interception ratio. When you do that for three years, you're just a good quarterback. Yep. It's not just a good story anymore. He's a good quarterback. I don't, he's not a great quarterback. He's a good quarterback. He deserves to be there. Row three. Well, the Wilds wanted Joe Burrow kicked off the mountain along with Kirk Cousins. The mountain knew better, and he's maintained. Lamar, they lost. I thought he played well. I thought he played smart. I didn't think he was the reason they lost. And he had fallen further than he probably should have after week one, so we correct. And Baker bleeping Mayfield. Go to Detroit and get a win that leaves Dan Campbell in tears. You're so distraught. <laughs> Baker just wreaking havoc across the NFC. Row two and one, it's pretty anticlimactic because I think it's what every single logical person would have right now as row two. We can show it to you. And row one. CJ's got to move up. He's, he's just, I know they only scored 19 points. He's just making big third down play after big third down play in both games. And, of course, Patrick's at the top. So, there it is. Solid mountain. The latest edition of Mahomes Mountain. Coach. I got some issues. Okay. Coach. Coach, you're not happy. <laughs> How could you not be happy with it? That was a good mountain. I'm going to, at some point, you're going to have to make your own mountain, and I'm going to rip it to shreds. <laughs> because what, what's, what possibly is wrong with the mountain? How, first of all, how could Caleb be on the market, mountain? Who do you, okay. Yeah, he, he so I'm just curious. Him. I'm just curious. I would put Daniel Jones above Caleb. Okay. Coach, Caleb has, Coach Caleb, you know people can I, see what you're saying. I, look, I, I, I appreciate that Caleb's a rookie, and I appreciate that there's a lot of hopefully bright things ahead uh -huh. of him in the future, but he has played poorly enough to be off the mountain. Yeah, but not as poorly as I Daniel Jones. Know. I mean, they, I don't know. I, I do know. It, it, it's a toss-up, especially I, after last Okay, well, even if it's okay. a toss-up, you got to make a call. I, I He's know. better than Daniel Jones. I don't know not how Jaden Daniels isn't what is up higher than, than Richardson. I mean, there's another one. But my, my you biggest... love Jaden Daniels. I, well, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying I'm in love with him. And you guys but, thrown zero touchdown passes. I want him ahead of Anthony Richardson. He's run for two. I, it's not the running back now. I watch the game. Watch the game. Well, I, it looks he's like it might be running back. Yeah, now. Go, all right, go all ahead. All right, so my, my issue is, is Derek Carr, and I know you don't love Derek Carr. If you, you hate Derek Carr. Carr. <laughs> yeah, the, it's, that's, that's exactly where it is. And, and just let's, let's take a look at, at what he's done through the first two weeks for him to say. And what, what row is he on? It's row five. Row five. Guy, can, can we please 11 bring up his, his stats? I, I mean, hope they don't have it. Oh, I, I hope they screw you here, Coach. They, they <laughs> might be screwing me. <laughs> the, but, but it's it's pretty well, much. There it is. Oh, First 15 drives. And then we saw, good. it's, a, that, it's a graphic that we've wow. seen already. But oh, that's pretty teams. impressive, right? I mean, through the first yeah. couple games. All right, can we bring up his sec the second graphic to reinforce? What I'm saying about Derek Carr's ascent oh. up the mountain. Oh. Wait, first, oh. first, first, second, third, yeah. second most points through two games since the merger. I mean, yeah. wow. He really belongs higher on the mountain. Hey, don't, don't you think? What could and he I have know, done? I know you dislike him, it's but, not that I dislike but him. you're saying that, that Baker's performance through two games is better than what Derek Carr did? Yeah. Oh, really? yes. A definitive. You're saying, even. You're saying yeah. Lamar's performance through two games is better than what no, Derek no. Carr did? No, no. So, again, I, again, again I, I'm sorry that this is – I'm sorry that this, despite it being, you know, multiple years of us doing this, still causes so much confusion. <laughs> Purely yeah. a statistical That's... representation of who is having the best season. What a passer. Well, no, it is I, wild, I, wild <laughs> – wait, coach. Wilds, what is it? It is a rich, rich tapestry, tapestry no, of right. many factors. Go to USA it's, Today. It's, and, a right. it's a passion <laughs> project the, the, where it, you, it, you, it, you whimsically it, throw quarterbacks up there. No. And you whimsically throw them down no, the mountain. It's not based true. Off of however you it's, feel. It's flatly <laughs> love Caleb. not true. He I am telling you right, I'm telling you right now, Derek Carr <laughs> is ascending faster up the mountain than I could have ever imagined. Sure. But there is there is a limit to how fast one can scale the mountain, especially Nick. when one has a 12-plus year history of attempting to climb the mountain, falling down, having his fellow mountain climbers mutiny against him, being sent to a different mountain. That guy is going to have to do more than Nick. have two great games. You put Caleb on the mountain before he's in pro football. I now understand. he's in pro football. And, <laughs> and, and, and the mountain, the mountain. And guess what? And guess what? That shows the fairness of the mountain. Even though he was a, a transcendent mountain climber as an amateur, mm -hmm. and the professionals, he's struggling. Oh, Derek what? Carr is rising fast. Everyone, you know what? You know, here's the thing, bro. People these days, this is living in such a microwave society. Oh. They got to have it all done so quickly. We can't wait for Derek to slowly ascend. It's got to be right ace first and everything. Why? Why? What, by, by coach's logic, he would be ahead of Patrick Mahomes. Correct? 
by your logic because he, he's first in everything. They're scoring all those points. It's well, tangible. Well, I've learned over time that it's called Mahomes Bounce. No matter.